Hey everybody, if you don't think this movie is seriously messed up, there's something wrong with you. Alright, this week we got 1974's It's Alive to the trailer. It's alive. It's alive. Can you hear me? It can't be saved. It's gotta die. It's alive. It's alive. Why are you so anxious to be the one to do it? It's alive. Doctor! I need It's alive. Nobody knows how this thing happened. It, it's really a matter of speculation, and I think perhaps that's for the best. After all, if we find out that the cause is medication that we manufacture, and it was administered over a long period of time, well, it... What do your interests recommend? Absolute destruction of this thing. <laughs> It went down the storm drains. That's how it can travel the length of the city without anybody seeing it. Don't touch me. Don't you touch me. They stole my baby. Walk it down. Did you see it? Did you see it? What does it look like? What are you Get those of? cameras out of my face, please. I got no comment. I had nothing to do with this. Will you get that thing out of my face? Get out of the way! He could have killed you. You know why he didn't? You know why he didn't kill you? Look out, Charlie! You've never been exposed to radioactivity in radioactive material or undergone extensive x-rays. No, Doctor, I told you. Can't rule out uh, genetic damage. My department has already cautioned the police about excessive violence. If it could be dispatched with a bullet, or, or better still, some kind of a gas. Undoubtedly, it is very small, and any kind of bodily harm, especially from gunshots or, or explosives. In other words, you want me uh, to sign away the body, is that it? Well, it's your right. After all, you are the child's father. Okay, this movie was directed by Larry Cohen. Larry Cohen was a, basically a B-movie director. That's, that's, that's what he did. He did movies like, uh, obviously, It's Alive, It's Alive 2, It's Alive 3. He did Q, which is a really cool, like, low-budget flick that we should probably review on this channel at some point or another. It was, it was actually pretty good. He did movies like Hell Up in Harlem and Black Caesar and The Stuff. The Stuff is another kind of legendary bad movie but uh, he did stuff like a return to Salem's lot and he also did some screenwriting he was floating around as a screenwriter too he did the screenwriting to things like uh, cellular and phone booth and captivity and things like that he's still going at like age 77 78 whatever he is now so hey Larry Cohen God bless man okay playing Frank Davies is John Ryan John Ryan has had a long long career in motion pictures he was in stuff like the Missouri Breaks, uh, Q, which is another, you know, movie we'll probably cover at some other point like that. He was in stuff like The Right Stuff. He was in The Escape Artist, Breathless, The Cotton Club, Runaway Train. Uh, he was in Future World, which we're going to be covering. Future World is like another classic low-budget sci-fi schlock type film. Uh, he also was in a lot of television shows. He popped up a lot on TV. He was in... Uh, Kojak and, and MASH and he was on Buck Rogers in the 25th century which was like come on how can you not love that 
So anyway, he was never what you would call the uh, a big leading type guy. But, you know, he was leading in the It's Alive movies. Like, hey, got to rock that. Okay, playing Lenore Davies was uh, Sharon Farrell. Sharon Farrell was in a lot of motion pictures. She popped up a lot of times back in the day. In the 80s, she was in stuff like Lone Wolf McQuaid and Night of the Comet. Before that, she was in things like Marlowe, The Premonition, The Fifth Floor, The Stuntman, Sweet Sixteen. Uh, she was in 40 Pounds of Trouble. She was in a bunch of stuff popping up around the scene. So she had a career. She was in a lot of TV shows, too. So how she wound up in It's Alive, which was actually kind of relatively early in her movie career. So, you know, I'm not... I'm not, and I'm, I don't mean to down it's alive. I mean, you're, you, we'll get there. Okay, here's here's the gist of this story. I'm gonna make this really short and sweet. John and Lenora, this couple, and they've been taking these like contraceptive, whatever whatever type of pills, pregnancy, fertility, what the hell they call those things, and they're trying to get pregnant and have a baby, and they get pregnant and have a baby, and they run to the hospital to have the baby. And when the baby is born, the baby is a fucking mutant monster, and it's got claws, it's got fangs, there's all kinds of shit going on. And the doctor is horrified, and he goes to, to I think he tries to smother the baby, remember he serves, he actually tries to kill the baby, and then the baby goes apeshit crazy and kills everybody in the room, except mom, because the baby's got a heart, you know, whatever, it's mom, I guess, I don't know, it's mom. And it un unleashes one of the most funniest movie scenes I've ever seen in my life because one of the doctors comes, he's kind of stumbling out the, the, the hallway and they go running in there to see what the hell's going on. And it's shot at these weird angles and he's in this, this weird way of filming that, you know, I, I don't know what they were doing. And they run into the room and there's one scene and pardon me, in this scene, they actually run in there and the husband's running over the wife and the doctor walks in and the wife is in stirrups and she's got her legs up in the air and the doctor actually pulls the covers off. They'll be like, where'd the baby go? Isn't it there? I, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. This shit's classically weird, man. It's weird. Anyway, the baby escapes. The police are looking for the mutant baby. There's another scene where the baby kills a man in a milk truck because he's a milk van delivery guy and of course where's a mutant monster fucking baby gonna hang out by the milk truck and the guy comes in and the fucking baby kills the guy in the milk truck and all you see is his legs just kind of like hanging out there dangling in the it's ah. the uh the doctor that prescribed the pills are trying to cover this up because they think that the pills that they gave them you know for fertility and everything are what's causing the mutations and all this other kind of stuff the police are out there looking for it. The father goes out to kill it. The father at one point gets a big heart and says, I can't kill my baby. Mayhem ensues. They're chasing this thing. It's killing It's killing police officers in schools. It's running through sewers. All, all kinds of weird shit is taking place in this motion picture. I don't know where to go with it past that. Okay, if you like true goofball, weird shot, weird vibed, weird idea type motion pictures, then It's Alive is a great movie for you. I actually, as much as I've been goofing on it to this whole thing, I actually enjoyed It's Alive when I was just a kid and seen it for the first time. The sequels were, uh, the second one wasn't too bad, the third one I, I can't even watch. But anyway, it was enjoyable for what it was, just a low budget, schlocky kind of what the hell are they doing kind of motion picture where it's like you don't know if you should laugh at this because it's so goofy or you should be like oh my god this is so scary or or what's going on with this thing i i i, I don't know how to put it but i remember watching this movie back in the 70s when i was a kid and thinking this was one of the coolest goddamn things i ever seen in my life i'm like whoa there's a mutant baby and he's running around town and he's killing people and you know our, my friends will get together and say oh my god gotta watch it's alive and it was just so weird now you know, 30, 40 years later watching it and seeing it again, you're just like, what were they doing? Everything about the movie just had this weird, strange, strange feeling. Just the way that Larry Cohen would put the camera angles in there when they're running down the hallways, everything would be like an up weird. It's just, it's just a weird style of directing. It's a weird motion picture. It's just, I get what they were doing. They, they probably had to do this whole thing on locations. There was no sets in this thing. I can't imagine. But the movie was what it was. It was entertaining. It was enjoyable. If you're going to watch it one time, just at least watch it one time. It was fun. The little baby monster, as long as it hangs out in the shadows, is kind of fun and enjoyable. But, I mean, you don't want to see too much of it because you're looking at this thing like, Jesus Christ, it's just a rubber doll. But 
it is what it is. And it even has a touching side on it because the father does try to save his little teeny baby and show that everybody needs love no matter how many problems they have. Anyway, folks, I know this was a short one, but I mean, where do you go? All right. All right. Peace out. Peace, love, hope. Bye. Later.